maybe all parts of this, but I suppose when you're down descent, you never really get any luck, do you? Oh, I suppose it's probably a bit of, it's probably a bit of luck we need, but I think, look, there's definitely there's a change in attitude. You can see it the second, for those who are Longford as well, the second half against Longford, we owned it, and we aren't getting the breaks, but like, what people need to do is to believe that what we're doing now is right, even though we haven't got the result in the last few games, and if they stick at it, we will get a result, there's no doubt about that. The, um, it was a great performance, like, overall, the team played brilliant in most parts, like, they nearly played Shelburne off the park, and Shelburne are up there at the top. Yeah, no, I think we were um, we were on top. I think they had a little spell about 15 minutes before half time, and again maybe in the middle of the second half. But uh, you know they never looked like scoring really. I think that we cope with everything that they were throwing at us, and it really is unfortunate. You know, particularly as we're looking for something um, at home, we haven't got into at home yet in the league. But I think the reaction of the, the supporters after said it all. I mean, there has been games and they've been gone with you know five or eight minutes to go, and I pointed it out to the boys. But I mean, they were still there. They were still clapping after the final whistle. I said that's that's credit to you, to the players for for the massive effort that they've put in tonight. The offside in the first half was like a disallowed goal for us. Do you think that was offside or was it onside? Was it offside or onside? Um, I think you know sometimes those decisions may go for you and sometimes they don't. Um, I wasn't quite sure that the referee's assistant was up to speed on the offside. To be honest, you know for both teams and I think there was. A lot of offsides maybe already put, should have put the flag up in my opinion and didn't, but that, that's how it goes. And uh, looking forward to Derry in the Cup next week. Bad memories in some cases of Derry, but uh, looking forward to it? Uh, definitely. Well, our most, our most recent memory of Derry here is when we drew them one all last year in the league, and it was a game that we probably should have won. They, had a, they obviously owned the first half, but for the second half we were, we were totally dominant. I thought that, you know, that we should have beaten them, and uh, we'd be very positive about the game in five minutes. That's good. Anyway, thanks very much. No with uh, Jimmy Kian, Johnny Flynn O'Connor and Tom Melvin players. Is there any chance we'll see these players in the future again? They're upstairs, are they? Yeah. Well, to be honest with you, I've spoken to Tom Elements. Um, I've spoken to him twice. I also spoke to him last season. Um, I'm hopeful that he'll... I'm expecting him to come training. He'll probably train on Wednesday night. Um, he certainly matured a lot. Uh, he looked like a player with talent when he was here a few years ago, and I think that he's got a bit of maturity now, and he's more clear-cut in what he wants to do and what he wants to achieve in football. So um, hopefully things go well for him and uh, we, we will be happy to sign him and hope he makes a, a big impact the second time around. I haven't spoken to Jimmy, but uh, obviously I'm looking forward to it. I haven't spoken to him for a while. Obviously he's been in England and, you know, a guy who goes to England and people will look and say, you know, he didn't make a river like any guy who goes to England is, is a success straight away. And uh, it may be a difficult time for him. we we'll certainly have a chat and see how he is. Um, as regards Johnny Flynn O'Connor, I haven't spoken to him. In, in a few months, so I have no idea what's in that boy's head. Right. So, uh, how do you think the team played tonight? We worked hard as a team tonight. We, like, things haven't been going well the last few weeks, so people know, but the effort put tonight was unbelievable. Like, we keep doing that. We didn't get a chance tonight, but we keep doing that tonight, but the results are coming our way. The defence was very solid tonight. Do you think uh, it'll stay with that way? Because it was very solid. Well, the formation we played now is kind of suited us better. We were hunting in packs, and we, we pressed high, which is good. Made them. Um, couldn't pass the ball out, so yeah, we defenders are uh, good units. Are you looking forward to next week against Derry City? Derry City, yeah, it should be a, a good game, alright, so we'll be up against it, which I will give it our best shot. All you can do is give them a go. Yeah, that's it.